from LA Plans and today I will be sharing the 2021 Dated Daily Binder from Erin Condren. I would like to thank Tori and the team at Erin Condren for sending me this to review and to share with y'all. So I am just going to jump right in. So, so we have all of the daily pages and broken down in quarters. So first three months, so January through March, April through June, July through September, and then October through December for 2021 and so these are available individually on the Erin Condren website so if you only want to have six months or if you only want to try these for three months you have that option to I'm um, just kind of pick and choose if you already have a binder so this is the colorful layers inserts and then there's also um some productivity pages and some classic line pages so let's open these up so here is everything and so um, you can definitely do like six months and then two sets of note pages if you want, or you can probably do the entire year. I'm just breaking it up by quarters. So um, the best part about the binder is you can customize it however you want. You can put whatever you want wherever you want without having to uncoil and you can easily like snap it open and close. But let's just do a quick clip through. So the entire setup's the same for these 2021 inserts as the life planner and the deluxe monthly and the academic. So you get your monthly view and then your monthly overview and this is the colorful layers and then you go into your daily. So you have your, for weekdays, you have your hours broken down over here by the half hour. You have a month, a to-do and then a blank space. And so I think I mentioned this before, I don't know what, but I know I've mentioned it before and I don't know what in what video to reference, but um, I wish they would have moved this down here. Um, that's how they had it in the previous setup um, because I just feel like this is a weird random blank space. Um, I know people like write something going on in the day but I would prefer to do that here where there's a line. I just like structure and I feel like this isn't structured because it's just an empty space if that makes sense and that's just my own personal preference. Um, but yeah you have 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And then you have a blank spot here. So you can do, I think people do like meal planning. They do um, PM routine, AM routine, just like a little checklist down here to make sure everything's done for the day. And then you have your to-do list. And then on the opposite side, and then on the weekends, you just have lines. So you can um, write in your times. If you want an hourly format, you can just write your to-do list. You can write what you did this weekend. You can journal. Um, on the bottom, you have this blank space for memory keeping to write down notes. But this is the weekend view and these are the weekday views. And then I'll just show y'all how each one looks. And then you have your next month. And so the best part about the binder and my favorite part about the binder is probably what got me into my agendas and inserts is how customizable and flexible it is that you can, cause you can really set this up however you want. And then the best part is you can also remove any months that you don't want in here to make room for more notes. I feel like this system is best for students personally, because you can, as a former student, um, you can have your plans and as many plans as you need. You can fit a full semester of plans in here. So like a semester is six months. So you can fit six months in here and then have your note pages and then you can easily go from plans to notes. And then you can use like page flags to organize your classes. I just feel like the binder system is really good for anybody who needs um, more organization and structure. Um, even for work, if you want like all of your tasks in here and then just have your notes in the back. Um, this is a great system as well, but here are the productivity notes and then we have our line notes in the back. And then one thing that I will note is that one thing that I noticed that they did is they actually made the punches like an actual circle. So they are um, easier to move around in the rings. I believe they were just life planner style like this before. Um, but they definitely look a lot larger so it's easier to move them around in the rings and so um that's one thing that i really like that they improved on this so that is the new 
Daily Life Planner binder and a quick flip through of the new Daily Life Planner binder from Erin Condren. And that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.